I'm going to give you a couple of tips, in fact six tips today that you can take away and use to be more effective in, in, in what you're doing with your sales teams. But before I go through those six tips, I want to just touch on the three key elements that make up sales management and they are managing, leading and coaching. It's as simple as that. Everything that I'm going to go through with you today is simple. Managing is exactly what it says, it's managing the numbers. That's when you look at how many calls the salespeople are having to make to make an appointment. How many appointments are they going on? How many sales are they making? What is their closing ratio? What is the value of the proposals they're sending out? Those are all the things that you do when you're managing. The problem is that most sales managers spend all of their time managing. Managing is important. You do need to control the numbers. But when you do manage, at least work in the moment. Don't work on history. If a salesperson's target is to make five appointments a day and they're only making three, if you wait for one week, they're 10 appointments short for that week. If you leave it for one month, they're 40 appointments short. And if you leave it for a quarter, they are 120 appointments short. What can you do at that point in time about a salesperson who is now 120 appointments short of their target, other than hammer on the fact that they're short, the negative stuff and then threaten them what, uh, about what needs to be done to improve their numbers. So work in the moment. If a salesperson's target is five and they're only making three, after three days sit down with that salesperson and find out where you can assist them to improve what they're doing so that they can improve their numbers. If you just focus on doing the best that you possibly can now in the moment, the future takes care of itself.